So one of the famous religions that's continuously growing across the world right now is Islam. Many people are becoming Muslim today. Even some Christians have become Muslim. Anybody that becomes Muslim, unfortunately, it just shows that they have not actually thought through even the foundation of the religion. And I'm going to just debunk Islam at their very foundation using just one simple fact. And that fact is that Muhammad himself, the founder of Islam, the Muslim religion, was a pedophile. Muhammad was married to a nine-year-old. He was espoused, I believe, to be married to her when she was just six years old. And yet, it was consummated when she was nine. So people that follow the, the Muslim religion, they don't understand this a lot of times. They don't understand the history. They don't really look into what Islam or what Muhammad's life was all about. You can tell a lot about a religion based on the founder of it. And the fact that Muhammad was a literal pedophile should be the number one reason why people reject that false religion. Jesus was a carpenter. Jesus was perfect. He never committed sin. The Bible says he was tempted at all points, like as we are, yet without sin. Jesus did not commit any sin. But Muhammad himself was a literal pedophile. You need to compare the Messiah of Islam to the Messiah of Christianity before you go as a Christian, even to considering Islam. That should be enough information right there to throw away that false religion. The Quran itself is a total joke. It just It's not even poetic. It's just such a joke to read has no power. The King James Bible, the Bible, my final authority, has all the power in the world. In fact, the Bible says that by the word of God, the heavens were of old. The Bible says that the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. And so God's word is what's, what has power. Islam and the false religion of it are leading many people to hell, unfortunately. And people need to be aware of who the founder of Islam was. He was not a Bible-believing Christian. He was a pedophile. And so I just felt that that would be important to point out for people that are considering converting to such a crazy religion. God bless, guys.